Hey everybody, it's Molly Pop. And since I showed you guys my top 5 favorite mods, I'm going to show you how to install Smappy, which is a mod manager specifically for Stardew Valley. How to install it and how to install two different types of mods as well, which are content mods and then just regular mods. So the first thing we're going to do is open up Steam and go to Stardew Valley and then you're going to right click on that and go to backup game files and here you're just going to follow along what it says on the screen and I just do this just in case anything were to happen to my save files which after all the times that I've done this, I have never gotten any corrupted files or lost any of them, but I do this just to be safe. And now this is one of two ways that you can save your files. This one just saves it to Steam. So if you want to do it to your actual computer, I'll show you a different way. But if you don't use Steam, then disregard this part of the video. But when this finishes, it'll show you where in your files it is so that you can always find where your saves are. The second way that you can back up your saves is by going into uh, the bottom search bar if you're using Windows and type percent app data percent and click on that folder and then scroll down until you find Stardew Valley and then there's going to be a folder where th that says saves and that's going to be where all your Stardew Valley data is so you can just move that folder somewhere else like in your documents and it'll be stored safe and sound there. Now we're going to install Smappy. So I clicked on the one that says smappy.io and then just click on the screen thing and I always do direct download but whichever you prefer is fine. So then when you go into your downloads you're going to have to extract the file and then when you get in there there will be multiple areas where it says install or install on windows and, I, and right here I had to extract some more files so don't worry about that but then uh, the version on the website might say something different depending on when you're watching this video and then because of my <laughs> virus protection I had to go through this and let it run anyway or well it wasn't my virus protection my virus protection said it was okay but then Windows didn't want me to but it did check out so it is completely safe but then when you get to this one though, you're just going to type 1 and click enter to install Smappy and then it'll show this and if you want to continue to use or uh, to earn Steve, oh my gosh, not Steve, Steam achievements, you're going to want to copy this whole entire thing including the percent common percent. <laughs> I had some trouble copying it for no reason but then cl right click on stardew valley and click properties and then where it says set launch options just paste it in this window and click ok so that when you go into steam and open it from there it will still launch your smappy and all of your mods to go along with it but if you don't want to open it through Steam. If it doesn't matter, you can launch it a different way. But that's just in case you use Steam and want to earn achievements as well as using mods. When you first install Smappy, it automatically goes to your Steam folder. So go to your Steam folder and then Steam Apps, Common, and then Stardew Valley and click on your Mods folder. It automatically makes it and this is where all of your mods are going to go but before we start installing mods we're gonna need something to install content mods so content mods change the visuals of the game 
And so you're going to need something called the content patcher for just to help make it run smoothly and so you don't have to go in and automatically change files yourself. So you can just type in content or content patcher and it's not the very first thing to show up. See like here when I typed in content it's only showing mods where you need uh, the content patcher so type in fully content patcher and it'll be the very this is something else don't pay attention to this um, it's just my mods but it'll be the first one so go ahead and click on it and then in files you can click on the latest version or up in this top right corner it'll say manual like download and then it says vortex or manual you can do it through that as well I do it both ways it just depends on your preference but in files it will show you the latest version and then you're just gonna click on manual download and a window will pop open and you click download again and then so you're gonna go into your downloads folder and every time you download one of these mods it always comes in a zipped folder so you're gonna and you're gonna extract it all of it and then you're gonna go into the folder you don't have to take this whole entire folder because there's like a folder in a folder you know <laughs> but and then just make sure you have your mods folder open so you can click and drag it I like to pin it to the side just for easy access that's why it's called quick access so I un I didn't need to do this but I did the whole extracted folder but that folder you see with all the random letters and numbers you're gonna open that and then there will be a file inside of it that says only content patcher and that's the only folder you need so it'll be a lot easier just to declutter and so your computer can find it a lot easier so I deleted that and then I went back into it and just dragged this folder oops <laughs> instead I didn't mean to do that I so I dragged it into mods and there you now you see it so now you're ready to download content patch mods I'm gonna show you an example of a content patch mod. I wanted to do Pama Shrek, but that one wasn't working. So we're gonna do the Bathhouse Hot Spring, and usually it'll say Content Patcher or Content Patch next to it. So we're gonna do the same thing we did before and download it. And then we're gonna go into our downloads. That was a mod I tried to do, but it didn't work. <laughs> and then extract the folder. And then I always delete the zipped one and then so we're gonna go in here and drag this to our mods folder it will always usually have a capital CP but then in your steam folder you're gonna click on the one that has a dot exe and open it that will automatically open your game or you can do it the steam way that's a lot less complicated so it just depends on your preference. I already had my files open, so I did it that way. But while we're waiting to see if this mod worked, I just wanted to go over a few details with you. So content patch mods, they change the visuals of the game. And with this content patcher mod, it makes it way easier where you don't have to go into your files and move them around and change things because the old way that Smappy had done it and just with mods in general it was very complicated and had some bugs and it was just very annoying so this is a lot easier and you can change like um, like the backgrounds the grass how the grass looks or you can add visuals and things like that so here's the new and improved bathhouse and oh I'm not a boy so I guess I can't go in there 
So this is how it looks. It's a huge difference and I think it looks pretty nice. I This was just a random mod that I chose. I'm not sure if, it, if I will keep it yet, but I did notice that in this mod when you try to go to the bathhouse it won't let you through so i don't know what's up with that that's kind of annoying but i mean there's not that much to do in the bathhouse anyway so i guess it doesn't matter but now i will show you a few regular mods by regular mods i mean things like the cheat menu because the cheat menu doesn't necessarily change the visuals of the game, like the background, patterns, and stuff like that. So the process is pretty much the same. I don't even think that there is a difference because all you're doing is downloading it, extracting it, and then taking the mod folder and putting it into your mods folder. Uh, so, yeah, there's not really much of a difference. The only thing was for the content mods because with the content patcher, it runs way more smooth and it just makes life a lot easier. So, see, we're just dragging it into our mods folder and here you see all of them. And they're very easy to find. This latest version of Smappy makes life way easier. So I'm just gonna show you what this menu, cheat menu looks like. Um, it has quite a few options in it. And I know I already showed this to you guys in my top 5 favorite mods. But I'm just gonna show it to you guys here again just because I really like this one and it's just a quick example of how certain mods look so I did this wrong and I was trying to click I but you need to click P instead to open it up I was for a different mod that I also have so oh and when you're in mods Make sure you check the description to see how to use it. So this is like a few of the options you guys have. I don't use all of these just because I don't want to super duper cheat. <laughs> but they do have some perks that make life a little bit easier. So there you have it. That's how you install Smappy and its mods as well. And see here, when you click play from the Steam launcher, it goes through the same process. You get your achievements and your mods. So you got it all in one and it works. But if you guys need any help doing this process, you can just drop a comment and I will try to help you. Because this was my first time figuring out this version, but I did it a few times, so I think I've got it down now. This version is way better than the version I had been using of Smappy because it worked, but honestly, it needed a lot of improvements. And it was very annoying. There would always be this window popping up like, oh, you need to update it. And then you'd be like, oh, okay, yes, sure. And then it'd be like, oh, can't do it. And you're like, okay. And then, so you just had to keep exiting it. And it was annoying. So this way, I like a lot, a lot better and have been using for a, a while now and I would never go back. <laughs> that about wraps it up though. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support. And I will be linking the website I use for mods and to the Smappy installer as well. And feel free to message me on Twitter as well if you don't want to post a comment. And I will always be there to help you guys, so don't be afraid to ask because I know how it feels to be frustrated with these kinds of things. 
If you liked this video, please hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, then hit that subscribe button. And make sure you check out my top 5 Stardew Valley mods. It was hard narrowing it down, but I did it. Thanks again, and see you guys next time.